today, the governor said the state is now in charge of restoring order following the unrest and destruction of the last two nights. As WCCO's Jennifer Merrily reports, the state took charge as the situa situation at the third precinct rapidly deteriorated. People surrounded Minneapolis's third precinct as flames grew overnight. A takeover of the building where the four fired officers worked and a take back. It's difficult, dangerous work. Uh, for everyone involved. The State Patrol and National Guard called upon to stop the unrest and restore order. This is unity. So people can peacefully grieve the death of George Floyd. Governor Tim Wall saying the state stepped in once the city lost control. That was the, the turning point where we were prepared and that's where we moved in. That's where we did not believe that the third should be given up, and that's why it's not, and that area was taken back. Action and accountability of local and state leaders called into question as looters took over and fire spread across the Twin Cities. Walt said the state was staying in their lane until it was clear it needed to stop the destruction. If this would have been executed correctly, the state would not lead on this. The state would have supported those and they would have moved forward. That did not happen. Further delaying an end to the growing problem, the National Guard was ready, but said it had been given no direction. The one topic that continued to be discussed was the lack of clarity and the lack of a mission and a description of what exactly the Minnesota National Guard Needed to do. We're told clear orders were given just after midnight. Hours later, control back at the third precinct. Keep the peace. Protect people. Protect them. Protect their safety. Protect their lives. Protect their liberty. Jennifer Mayerly, WCCO 4 News.